afternoon sir and all of you i am sakshi singh research scholar at faculty of education banaras hindu university uh, today we are here in a special lecture organized by indian research scholars association on the topic how to select a research problem uh, today we have a dr anil kumar p sir uh, from central university of kerala and professor raksha singh ma'am from indira gandhi national tribal university amarkanta and uh, i'm sure that today's special lecture on the topic how to select a research problem definitely will be fruitful for all of us especially for those research scholars who are in, uh, in a initial phase of their phd because uh, it is a big challenge from uh, or to all the freshers to identify the research problem so now i will call mr vikas sir a research scholar from indira gandhi national tribal university amarkanta who welcome his speech over to you vikas sir uh, thank you so much sakshi ji i am audible yes sir yes sir yes sir audible okay so first of all i would like to welcome dr anil kumar p sir who is a director of center capital studies center university kerala and uh, uh, i i would like i would uh, like to welcome in depth of my heart to sir sir had accepted our invitation our request uh, very easily and uh, he has given your permission to deliver the lecture in a uh, very relevant uh, topic uh, uh, not only for the research scholar but all the academic world i would like to thanks all participants who has uh, taken your valuable time and join this lecture uh, i would like to uh, welcome uh, convener and co convener of this lecture series uh, sakshi singh who is a research scholar of uh, uh, banaras hindu university uh, kasi bhu and uh, i would like to thanks uh, uh, organizing secretary of this lecture series uh, ganesh lal ji who is a research scholar of uh, jawaharlal nehru university uh, new delhi i would like to welcome uh, professor raksha singh madam who is a professor of uh, uh, central university of amarkanta uh, who will be join uh, in the later so again i would like to welcome all participant uh, uh, our speaker anil kumar sir uh, on the behalf of me and on the behalf of uh, uh, india research scholar association so thank you so i invite to sachi singh for further proceeding before uh, inviting sir uh, for to this valuable speech uh, i will first introduce to sir to our participants um, our speaker sir dr anil kumar p sir is a currently associate professor in the department of international relations capital center of uh, capital center of the central university of kerala and uh, he is uh, he received his ma mphil and phd degree from the department of Pol uh, political science university of kerala and uh, his area of interest are us china and south asian security, uh, security. and uh, he is a research supervisor in political science and uh, uh, international relations under the university of kerala and uh, sir has a lot of achievements and uh, i think uh, uh, i have a less word to introduce the sir uh, so sir i will uh, invite you uh, for your valuable speech thank you sir Okay, uh, am I audible properly? Audible? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, thank voice. you, Sakshi, for a very generous and kind words. A uh, very warm good evening to all of you. Uh, respected Professor Raksha Singh Ji, President of Indian Research Scholars Association. Uh, Vikas Kumar, uh, Research Scholar, Department of Political Science. Uh, and human rights in the gandhi national tribal university amarkan convener naina prasad the research scholar mahatma gandhi antarashtriya hindi vishwavidyalaya varda 
co convener Sakshi Singh, a research scholar from Education Department, Benares Hindu University. The organizing secretary Ganesh G. Lal from uh, you know, uh, Jawaharlal Nehru University, New Delhi. Dear friends and uh, colleagues, actually, this is a very great opportunity, uh, and I'm very happy to present certain things related with the uh, research how to select a research problem, what are the challenges involved in it, how we can uh, you know, clearly reach to a point related to identifying the research problem. Uh, when Vikas uh, told me about for a talk, immediately this topic comes in my mind. I know that many of you are already entered into the research field, then you will have a doubt that why I am talking about how to select a research problem in this context. Because definitely uh, this is only a beginning for you and you will uh, submit many research projects, you will apply for many fellowships and many things. All the time you need to submit a research proposal, definitely. And many research scholars are coming in front of me by asking the basic question that, sir, can you suggest a topic for our research work? So this is very problematic this question itself is very problematic for me so i thought that i must share at least this with the, the research scholars and colleagues because in future they can also deal these kinds of problems in an effective manner in your research when research scholars are coming in your guidance and all the way so that is why i have selected this topic before you and before that before entering into to a topic i'm especially congratulating your efforts for formulating Indian Research Scholars Association and especially conducting these kinds of lectures. These are very rare in the state of India uh, when we are, uh, you know, uh, when the research and other activities are concerned. So in that way, I'm especially congratulating Vikash Kumar for the efforts and all other supporting, you know, uh, organizers for this program. Thank you for inviting me too. Let me begin. I think I can take 40, 35 to 40 minutes. Am I right? Mm. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. See, uh, when we are entering into a research problem, no, before entering into that, let me ask a very simple question that what is research? Because everybody knows that research simply means search for facts, answers to questions, solutions to problems. And it is considering basically as a purposive investigation. It's considering as an organized inquiry. And most of the time it seeks to find explanations to unexplained phenomenon, doubtful propositions, clarifying and correcting the misconceived facts and many things. So basically it is considering as a systematic and scientific inquiry for the truth. But the problem is that Many of us are mistakenly thinking that normal kind of writing is also a kind of research work. Because when we are asking you to take some good research works, even students are going in library and taking even basic descriptive studies and telling that these are certain kinds of research work. So basically, you must understand that research having certain kinds of features. The first feature is that it is systematic and a critical investigation, definitely, every research. It is not mere a compilation, but it is basically a purposive investigation. It sometimes aims at describing, interpreting and explaining the phenomena. It usually adopts scientific method. It usually it's more objective, logical, applying possible tests to validate the measuring tools and the conclusions reached. And it is based on certain obser observable experience and empirical evidence. And research is always directed towards finding answers to certain kinds of preconceived pertinent questions and solutions to problems. It, it is basically emphasizing the development of generalizations, principles, and theories. 
the purpose of a research is not to arrive at an answer we basically thought that okay research will always give us answer to social problems and phenomena no sometimes definitely but most of the time okay but basically research is a process through which we are reaching to certain kinds of generalizations building of, of theories uh, producing critical knowledge and the test of criticism it sta- it stand up the test of criticism so definitely we can see that all these factors which i explained now will reveal various characteristics of an exact research scientificism systematization objectivism logicalism so many things so observable experience empirical evidence generalizations principles theories all these are all part of a kind of uh, a kind of research work there are different types of research we know that i am not explaining in detail but i will tell that exploratory kind of research are there descriptive kinds of research are there diagnostic research are there action research is there experimental research is there historical research is there so you can see different types of research when engaging with but the question arises only when we are dealing with the planning of the research so that is the core aspects which i am going to discuss about i am not discussing about all the research pl- about all the research planning but i am discussing only about the beginning of the planning of the research work in the planning of the research work of course the first stage is the selection of a problem and the second stage is formulation of the selected problem then we will definitely go for to set objectives formulation of hypothesis conceptualization and finally it will reach the to a research plan and research design so while discussing about the selection of the problem many are going in front of the research guides and we can see that they are normally asking sir madam can you suggest a research topic for me ne if any scholar comes to you with this question i immediately will discredit them in many manner or i will tell that this is not the usual way you must approach a gate because always the selection of the topic must be done by the scholar at least the area must be selected by the scholar itself then the problem comes how we will reach to that point how we can select a research problem see there are different sources to reach to a particular aspect of research problem there are different sources i am telling about few of them are of course reading reading is a source second thing is your academic experience third thing is your exposure to field situations fourth is basically consultations then brainstorming discussions research intuition all these factors will definitely lead you to the selection of the problem so i will explain each one reading how reading will uh, how reading become a research a source for the selection of the problem as you know that you are reading many scholarly articles books journals so it will definitely tell you about the research gaps existing so research is actually a work for filling up the gaps if so many you know some research areas are concerned it may be new research but still we are generally considering as uh, research work is filling up of gaps in the academic research you know efforts so reading will suggest you reading will expose you to the research gaps and you will think about that so reading is the first source so if you want to do some research work the first thing you must to do is you must keep certain kind of reading the second thing is of course the academic experience you may have different kinds of expo- experience with your students with your senior professors with your colleagues or with international forums or attending seminars you may have different exposure to different kinds of experiences regarding the academic matters 
so by attending all these things sometimes it will give you a kind of point for the selection of the problem for to reaching out a part, uh, reaching to a particular aspects so reading on is one aspect academic experience is another aspect third is to field exposure to field situation suppose you want to know about what is happening in manipur so you will go there you will um, you the, when you are reaching there you will think that okay this is an area for doing some research in political science or in sociology or in history too so the the exposure to field visits will also help you so while i am, i am discussing all these things you must understand that if a research scholar if a scholar if a student wants to take some research area at least to try to explore all these things consultations also sometimes you know don't ask a title to others but you can discuss suppose you are interested to study about women and representation in parliament you can go to some in front of some scholars after a reading and you can consult with them and you can tell about the idea in your mind so definitely they will tell that th there are some research gaps and you can work on that that will help you no they will suggest they will make a certain kinds of uh, exposure to the gap which is existing already in the field of it. you know uh, the area of research work then brainstorming discussions you are with your friends intensified discussion in a group or with any colleague or friend or anything so that will also give you certain times exposure to some research gaps and find, and of course research work also you know previous research work they will tell about the research gaps because whenever you are completing phd in the last chapter you will tell that there is for scope for further research so while reading these kinds of research work others will definitely think that okay this is a good idea so they will look on to that area so what i am telling is if you want to do any research on a particular area you can also think of the dissertations or projects work available Yeah, related to the area which you are thinking, and that will also tell you what are the research gaps ex existing in that field. In that way, also you can uh, reach to a point. Sometimes intuitions also, intuitions may a reflective mind is a spring of many kinds of knowledge. So that also will sometimes give you. So all these are all different kinds of sources for the selection of a. a uh, so a problem for a research work that you must understand okay so when when you are when you want to start a research work you know after all these kinds of understanding first you must think about in which field i should conduct my research work okay suppose you the the process of identification is the first step in the selection of a research problem there are three important aspects when we are selecting the the problem the first thing is selection of the discipline suppose you are a political science student so in which field you want to study about uh, women and politics or you want to study about legislation you want to study about judiciary or you want to study about uh, like political communication international politics public administration so you you know indian thought or western political thought or the contemporary political thought political theory what is the area you want to study about what is the discipline so some some may be interested in indian politics some may be interested in local politics some may be interested in the kind of uh, you know different other aspects like women empowerment globalization and its impact many 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 areas are there sub disciplines are there in each discipline so the first thing is to identify the discipline that means you must think about the discipline which you like the most the area you like the most without any kind of compulsion so your interest is very primary matter in this aspect so you are understanding about a particular discipline is very important factor your interest in that discipline is very much important factor so the process of identification is considered the first step is selection of the discipline the second step that you should take is demarcating the broad area you must identify the broad area for the research work so first one is select the discipline second the broad area you want to take suppose you want to do research in political science on uh, you know globalization aspect suppose you think 
then you want to demarcate the broad area i want to study about either either you want to study about gender politics or you want to study about globalization or you want to study about uh, india's foreign policy whatever area you want to study about you demarcate the broader area first identify the discipline second you identify the broad area and third you identify the specific area of your study specific topic through the the way such which i have already explained through intuition sometimes through reading sometimes through discussion sometimes never approach to a guide or never ask to any senior professor or anyone about a suggest a research topic you if you want don't ask them to suggest a research topic or area because they don't know how much capacity you have they don't know what is your interest they don't know what are the available sources in your, what is your competency all these factors are depending upon when you are taking uh, uh, very important factors when you are taking a research problem so never approach anyone for a research title or a topic but you can engage with them for finding about the broader aspects in the particular problem involved so selection of the discipline demarcating the broader area and then identify the the specific uh, topic these are the first stages which are involved in the selection of your research problem then when you are identifying or select selection of your research problem there are certain criteria also that you should keep in mind which few things i have already explained generally the researchers are uh, or the scholars are classifying these criteria into two in the selection of the problem of a research the first one is certain internal factors criteria of internal factors then criteria of external factors too so the criteria of internal factors are concerned your interest matters your competency matters your finance and time matters so these are all internal factors when you are considering a research title or a research problem first you must think that whether i am so much interested in this area or not because if you don't have any interest you are just uh, you know doing a research work because you want only a title for research work that will not lead to you kind of proper result what is important is the kind of research the, the interest the passion you have so take a topic only you have interest take a topic only you have the passion that will definitely help you to reach the destination in a proper manner second thing is you must think about the competency suppose you don't know how to speak with the foreigners okay but you want to study about the foreigners it will be a challenging task so you must understand about your competency can i do this suppose you are uh, studying about uh, human rights violations happening in inside police jails so if you want to understand about uh, the human rights violations in jails you need a kind of uh, uh, the permission to conduct surveys and interactions with the, with the the people inside the jail so you need the permission are you competent enough to secure these kinds of things this kind of permission is a matter in this regard so your competency is matter first you think about your passion interest second you must think about your competency the third of course about finance and time if you are having the the financial capability suppose you want to conduct study about uh, afghanistan or if you want to conduct a study about so, suppose uh, yeah, how congress is making a, a bill in the american parliament american senate american congress how they are making bills if you want to study directly you must go there sometimes so for that whether you will get any kind of whether are you uh, having enough money and time this is a very important matter for you so interest is a matter competency is a matter finance and time is also a matter there are certain external factors the first you must think that whether this topic is a topic is having researchability so this is very important aspect when we are thinking about the research whether this topic have certain kind of researchability researchability in the sense that if you are unable to make any kind of hypothesis you cannot uh, you know uh, you know this is a mere statement this is not a good topic for research work there is no relevance for it then researchability will be a question 
so you must uh, when you are taking a topic you must uh, you know uh, first identify that whether this topic having certain kind of researchability so this is also a very important factor this is an external factor the second factor related to external criteria is importance whether this problem have any relevance today or uh, uh, any kind of you know relevance in the sense that any significance then you must think about the third important external factor is novelty whether your uh, research work will give any kind of new output not i am not telling that any kind of new solutions or new thing but any kind of new output any kind of thing which will contribute to the generalizations or, or theories so novelty is also a matter so researchability importance novel novelty then feasibility suppose you are you want to conduct a research uh, in human rights violations of uh, the, the the people inside the jail you cannot you know if you don't get permission how can you conduct that study so this is also a problematic thing right suppose you are, you want to conduct about the 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 problems of foreigners in a particular area but how you can conduct that study in an off season you must wait for the season right so the feasibility of the study in that particular time and setting is also very much important a factor so feasibility you must check before uh, finalizing a research problem then of course about facilities suppose if you don't have any proper kind of library near by you or any kind of uh, sources uh, no, which are not available to you then that your research work will face a serious kind of problem so you must think about what are the facilities available to you it involves all from physical to psychological factors suppose when few people are doing research work whether feasible conditions in home whether feasible conditions for them to do the research work are you able to overcome the challenges which are restricting you for doing any uh, the kind of research work so you must think about all these factors that is why i am telling you never approach to a guide or a scholar for a research title because you only knows that how much facilities are available to you you only know that how much interest you have you only know that uh, what is the competency inside you so you must decide while considering all these aspects you must uh, finally reach to a point that this is the area i want to do the research work so researchability importance novelty feasibility facilities and of course usefulness and relevance mm -hmm. you must think that whether it is useful for anyone anyone or any community or any group or any society in some way it should be uh, beneficial to others at least for our discipline we know that what the kind of research is going on nowadays but you must understand that at least it it must be a good addition to the literature so that is a very great uh, thing so you can see that all these criterias are very much significant internal criteria i will repeat your interest your competency finance and time the external factors are of course the researchability importance novelty feasibility facilities usefulness all these are factors are very much important in the uh, uh, in the selection of a research problem as criteria then how to no i will i will tell you some practical uh, you know uh, things are uh, you know uh, things also uh, because when you are approaching for a research problem or when you want to select a research problem you must do one more thing first you must go to library or first you go to internet to search that whether materials are available or not related to just having a having a, a, a minimum look that i am telling suppose you will think that okay for this uh, you know topic is very suppose i will tell you uh, student uh, uh, student politics student politics okay issue of student politics that you can make a micro topic i am generally tell you when we are hearing that we will think that okay there will be lot of materials okay because it is it is commonly discussed the topics many times but do you know the the materials related to student politics were very less in the existing body of knowledge so when we are hearing we will have an assumption that okay there is lot of material so i can easily do but i am suggesting strongly suggesting you to go to library or to go to google or whatever search engines you have or whatever the kind of sources you have you just have a look that whether at least some materials are available 
in the existing field or related field then that will help you a lot otherwise no otherwise also you can do research work but you will you will be you must be able to face that kind of challenges which has which will come to your field or you must have that kind of confidence that okay i can do this kind of a work at least you can understand that okay i am dealing with a topic which is very rare and don't having sufficient material i must do a lot of primary work and i must uh, uh, I, i don't have a model so i must uh, took a lot of effort for that so the formulation of the selected problem before going into the final selection this thing also you must keep in mind okay so when you are reaching to a particular area particular problem now through different methods you reach to a particular area or a problem for the research work now the question before you is developing the title okay for the research work how you will uh, tell a title normally i can see that many research scholars are giving lengthy titles for their research work so a good research title is uh, having lot of challenges because a continuous reading good knowledge command over your area discipline all these things are very much significant while making a title because academic title will tell a lot when we are using academic words when you will have a clearly defined terms it will give you it will tell a lot about your research work a research, the title of the research work must should be reflect the the the, the, the exact problem of the research work should be reflected in the research title itself it should be very specific it should be very short and it should be very carefully worded these are the things you should be you should keep in mind when selecting or developing a research title it must be very specific and short it must be carefully worded and it must tell about what exactly the research problem is because many research scholars are telling a research title differently and the research problem differently that is happening many times and when you are selecting the research title or when you are making the research title it should have very very clear it must tell clearly worded about what is the actual research problem you are going to study about suppose i will tell you globalization and its impact on marginalized sections okay so many are thinking that this is a good title this is not a good title because we know that marginalized sections are many nations many countries many areas and there were different types of marginalized sections too so you must focus on globalization and its impact on marginalized sections now you can take a particular community in a particular area then only that will, uh, that title should be very specific some scholars are concerned there is a problem they have already taken the title suppose i will tell you are you studying about a comprehensive security or a military security problem these are all uh, very very problematic when you are going into research work so you need a certain kind of micro sharpness while developing the title so selection of the problem is identifying the title is not an easy work it is the very difficult challenging task in a research work if you are not doing that properly the problem is that you cannot complete the research work you cannot develop a proper research questions and you cannot do uh, you know it will lag your research work and finally what will happen is that you will leave the research work too. so the important aspect is to find an exact researchable research uh, you know, research title so that is very important and the second aspect while developing the research title is you should have building a conceptual model too in your research work suppose you are uh, describing about few terms in the title you must clearly define that in the research design itself suppose you are using the term empowerment or globalization you must tell that this is because there were many uh in a conflicting definitions on empowerment suppose somebody will say that empowerment means that uh, getting job some will think that it is uh, getting edu- proper education 
some believes that it is command over uh, you know resources some believes that it is uh, political power some believes that uh, altogether all these aspects some believes that it is creating a social capital so there are lot of things involved in in a in in a particular kind of academic field so you must be when you are selecting a particular word you must define it properly you must clearly tell that what is the exact meaning the researcher is intending you must tell that empowerment here the researcher means that this globalization here means that this traditional industries means this marginalization means this so uh, even development it is a contested term when you are using the term development you must tell that because some people will say that a development is a kind of uh, you know per capita income growth of per capita income and national income some of this telling that you know it is human development index some will think that it is a vertical and a horizontal growth so many things involved in a in a word also so when you are taking a word a concept in your research work you must clearly define that thing this is also a very important aspect okay so developing the title building the conceptual model then you must set the investigative questions this is the very challenging task because it needs lot of things proper reading proper understanding you know you must have find out the research gaps which i, I earlier mentioned this is actually research questions so developing the research questions you can develop three or four or five research questions you you know some i have seen that in some of dissertation they have more than 10 and 15 questions that is unfair in the sense that a research question you know simple things are simple basic knowledge universal knowledge always these are all not research questions research questions must have developed on the base of your deeper understanding or knowledge so before preparing the research questions you must have proper reading and you must find out the research gaps existing you must understand about the relevance of these research questions and you must understand that what it will contribute so all these aspects you must keep in mind so setting investigative questions if you are having wrong research questions it will uh, you know your research will be futile it will not give you the expected result it will lead to you the more problems so setting the proper research question is a very difficult task that it, you are you must be very careful about two things while doing a, a research work three things are very important first thing is title second thing is research questions third thing is hypothesis because on the basis of the research problem you are making the title so title must reflect everything okay second thing is that your research questions will give the end result so if you have any problematic research question then you will be in trouble so you must set very good research questions third thing is hypothesis of course hypothesis you are making on the basis of your general understanding and initial understanding sometimes it may be wrong but research hypothesis definitely will lead you to the correct path will lead you to the proper you know it will always anchor you to the particular place you are always asking what what are the problems you are investigating so research uh, objective the title objectives and hyper all other things we can correct in the process but you cannot change your research questions if you set initially you can do but that is not proper okay so uh, research you know title research questions and hypothesis uh in the selection of the problem itself that you must have a certain understanding and that will help you to more good kind of research work then of course definitely that concepts i have already discussed to you about this and that also very much important sometimes your research needs a time frame you must clearly tell us about the time frame suppose you are studying about india china relations bilateral relations you must tell a particular time period otherwise the title the, the research will be very vast so you must confine it to a particular time or a particular incident you must have a particular kind of uh, you know frame for finishing that your work and doing that work and again you must have a particular kind of area of work. You, you must tell about you know for suppose you want to study about decentralization you must tell that decentralization uh, in which area which field you are studying 
Uh, suppose you want to study about e-governance, whether you are studying about e-governance in administration generally, or you are studying about in the revenue service or in the education service, in different services we are implementing e-governance in the field of administration. So you must specify that in which field. So the, the kind of area, the time, all these things are very much important in, in the selection of a research selected problem. Then, uh, of course, uh, you know, finally we can say that research design, you know, after these things we will prepare a proper research design with uh, proper research questions, proper research title, proper hypothesis, and I will tell you that why we are making this blueprint. Now, research design is of course a blueprint for the research work. It's like a plan for the construction of a home. And why we are doing that? Definitely it is to anchor the researcher to the particular area, to lead you to the correct way, to the destination. So a research design, I will explain in minimum words what are the, the contents of a research area because the research design that everybody knows, but still, you must have a good title that should be very specific, clear, short, having conceptual clarity, reflecting the theme, it must be micro and it must be uh, very, 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 very reflective of the problem. And uh, the research design must have a proper introduction that must be having a proper beginning. Uh, you know, it must be an, a, a proper entry to the area of study and it will tell about a hint that what is you are going to study about. Then there should have a statement of the problem. It must tell about, it is a small description of the research problem. In two or three paragraphs, you can explain about that. Then you must tell about the significance of the study. What is the relevance of your study? That also you must tell in one or two paragraphs or in few sentences you can explain. Then of course, you must tell about, tell about the review of literature. Many are asking me why we are doing the review of literature during that initial stage itself. Because after doing research work, we, will, we are familiar with many literature only after that. Then why we are doing the beginning? So you must understand that review of literature is basically a critical and comprehensive examination of the existing academic and scholarly literature available in our field, in the specific area of the field. And it is an essential component of the research process and serving several purposes. I will tell you, identifying the, it will help you to identify the research gap. It will help you to understanding the key concepts. It will help you to building the theoretical framework. It will help you to establishing the relevance and significance. For all these aspects, review of literature is very much significant. And uh, your review of literature will also tell that the capability of the researcher have, researcher have. Because if you are familiar with a good scholars, good work initial time itself, then everybody can understand that, okay, you are a good scholar in the field. So your research questions, your hypothesis, review of literature, these three things and the title, these four things definitely will tell you that or tell to anyone that what kind of a research scholar you are, how much capability you have in the research area. Of course, you can improve, but in the initial pace itself, it will show certain kinds of, uh, you know, uh, the capability of the researcher. So uh, while selecting all these things, so that is why in many applications, they will tell, they will ask you that, tell your, uh, you know, objectives and hypothesis in 200 words. They want to leave that. They will ask you to send the proposal in 200 words, what they mean, or 300 words. What they mean is, you must tell about the research question, hypothesis, general introduction. That's, if you want to tell the research gap also clearly, you can tell. So this is, uh, uh, this uh, will, whenever you are preparing any proposal or any, for any project, even small or big, you must keep all these things in mind. And this is not an easy talk. This is a very challenging task. Then of course, the research objectives you must formulate. It, uh, these are research questions that must have clarity, relevance, core aspects it must uh, reflect and it must have a certain level of significance. Then of course, hypothesis, you know, what are the qualities of a good hypothesis? It must have a conceptual clarity, specificity. It must have having capability of testability. It must have theoretical relevance. It must have consistency. It must have objectivity. It must have simplicity. And definitely it must link two or more variables. So many of the research scholars are making hypotheses as mere statements. 
mind that this is these are all not generalized statements these are all assumptions but linking two major variables uh, it, it must sometimes tell about the cause and effect also so conceptual clarity specificity simplicity testability theoretical relevance subjectivity linking two variables these are all very important factors uh, you know are, are related to a good hypothesis and methodology you know uh, when we are thinking about methodology and methods some have very big problems what is the difference between method and methodology no methods and methodology okay. methods means that generally what are the tools you are using for different kinds of data for data you will use uh, survey method you will use observation method different method you will apply for the research inquiry for the scientific inquiry sometimes you will use qualitative method or sometimes you will use quantitative method empirical method so different types of methods you will use for your research work but methodology is the general kind of aspect general thing that will lead you to you know the it is basically a kind of uh, what we can say it will tell about the the the, the generality of your work or uh, the methodology will tell about the 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 overall aspects of re, you, your research work what what kind of theories you are using what kind of the concepts you are using in what way on the basis of what theories you are reading your research work this will this will tell about basically the generalization of some things okay so then it must have a chapterization of course uh, definitely at least you must have three or four chapters depending upon the kind of research work you are doing you must have a proper research design must have findings and conclusions i am requesting all the research scholars when you are writing your thesis at least at the end two things you must keep in mind first thing is that at the end when you are telling about your conclusions and major findings you must validate your research questions you must validate your hypothesis there you must tell that this is my research question this is my hypothesis and i am validating through uh, these chapters these parts by analyzing these and these aspects you must clearly tell about so you must adopt a methodology for writing even a conclusion that is my suggestion normally some people are doing that in many dissertations that is also missing so while writing a project report also whatever questions you are raising in the beginning so you must validate that hypothesis and uh, you must answer to that questions and properly validate your hypothesis if there is wrong hypothesis also null hypothesis also you must tell that this is a null hypothesis and you must prove whatever it is in your hands so these are the things i want to tell preliminarily about the 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 research selection of a problem of the research work i think that i have a when beyond the exact title to but i uh, i think that this is very important so thank you for the organization for giving me an opportunity and uh, now this is time for i think if you are interested we can share some thoughts and questions definitely i will try to answer that thank you thank you very much thank you sir so i'm trying to conclude your lecture uh, and sir it is a very valuable for us and uh, you have clearly make us understand to how to select a research problem and uh, some uh, points like we being exposed to field experience discussion and consultation and intuition which is also helpful to a uh, connect to research problem previous research work and academic experience with different exposure and uh, so um, you are you have briefly describe all the points and uh, uh, sir you also uh, say So some aspects like selection of area or a discipline, uh, identify the interest, the standing of a particular discipline, and uh, demarcating the broad areas uh, and identifying the specific areas. And uh, sir, also uh, you have told us the internal criteria and external criteria of selecting the research problem, uh, which is the interest area, our competency, financial aspects, and times. uh because we know uh, our interest area our competency and our time uh, rather than the our uh, guide and our seniors and some external matters research ability relevance of problem and novelty 
and feasibility which is also very important uh, while selecting the research problem and uh, uh, review of available literature which is also very important to get the confidence about our work and how to develop a title which is also told by you and title should be specific short and uh, <coughs> title should tell about the what is exactly the research problem and develop conceptual model and sir also tell us about the research question that research question should be based on a deeper understanding of the research work and uh, sir uh, thank you for covering all the aspects of uh, research work from objective to a uh, report writing so uh, it is a very valuable for us and i believe that this valuable lecture definitely help us uh, and help to all the researchers thank you sir and thank you, uh, thank now you very i will now i will invite i invite to professor raksha singh ma'am uh, for sakshi, presentation sakshi sakshi before and be, uh, she is a professor uh, in hello office. sakshi uh, before inviting the raksha ma'am uh, ah, op sir. open the session for question and answer aapki awaaz nahi aa rahi hai sakshi i am audible hello hello ha sakshi it's not properly audible okay now i'm yes, sir, vikas sir ha now i'm audible sakshi ji hello so you are not audible yes sir ha i'm audible now aapki awaaz nahi aa rahi hai vikas ji hum log sun nahi pa rahe hain now i'm audible now audible हेलो so uh, 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 अच्छा that how to find out the resource gap okay okay so can i answer or you will take all questions together or i must respond to this question now sir another question sir mm, yes. uh, uh hello how research design is Aapna? different from Aapna. research methodology hone wala hai aap okay 2 minute bol dete hai aap kuch din ke liye okay end ho hi gaya bas aap chud jayenge to kuch din ke liye kara ke isi ke bol ke kuch chana any other thing aap chud jayenge can i can i start with these questions so uh, others can also develop questions okay. and you can ask can i can i start to answer these questions abhi uh, ma'am uh, yes sir join kar raha hu okay okay so the first question thank you for asking this question how to find uh, out the research gap of course you must have reading on the that is why i told you that if you are reading on the available literature related to that field definitely that will give you tell you what are the research gaps available you can go through the previous research works of the, the related research works of the scholars some research good publications all these things if you are going through these kinds of materials it will definitely tell you that these are the existing research gaps available so the basic thing is the researcher must engage with the topic in different ways in different ways sometimes you can ask to good professors they will tell that okay these are the areas you know good scholars in the particular area you can discuss with them you read some important good work, research scholarly works Uh, research uh, good articles previous uh, unpublished dissertations all these things will lead you to the research gap that is existing in some areas so that is the first uh, uh, you know answer i want to tell about uh, tell to the question that how to find uh, out the research gap 
Then the second question is concerned what is the research design and difference between research methodology. You are asking about the research methods and research design or research methodology and research design? Sir, research design and research methodology. Okay, research design and research methodology. See, research design is basically a blueprint for your research work. It will, it will definitely tell about your research questions. It will tell about the hypothesis and all, the, all these things which I explained. But research methodology is basically what kind of theory you are using for the entire kind of work. What, what is the basic philosophy of your research work is basically the research methodology. So one is a philosophical as aspect and other one is a structural aspect. So you must differentiate both these. So that will tell about the basic philosophy of your work, the general theories from which uh, premises you are starting that work. So what are the general understanding, general you know theories which are you are bringing or which grounded theories, premises you are taking that uh, topic to a particular level. So one is a philosophical aspect. Now other one is definitely a research design is it will specifically tell about what is the kind of a research, what is the, what is the, what is the structure of the research work, in what way you should pro proceed. So it is definitely a blueprint for your research work. It will not give the flesh and blood to the research work. It is basically the structural aspects. Okay. But when you are going to the research uh, methodology, it will give the flesh and blood to the research work in a way. So it is a, it, it will tell about what is the kind of philosophy you are following in that research work. These are the differences I have noticed in research design and research methodology. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you. Hello. Ah, yes. Yes, please. Yes, sir. Good evening, sir. Thank you. Good evening. Thank you, sir. I would like to thank you for your good presentation over here. Sir, so my question, my small question is, sir, could you, could you tell me any tips on how to identify gaps for a totally new model? Um, what what you are telling? I am not getting your question, please. There are some noises. Sir, uh, could, could you tell me any tips how to identify any? gaps? Any? Any tips? That word I am not hearing properly. So could Sir, he is asking for any tips. How to there is any there is lot of noises can you repeat so sir can you tell me any tips okay okay any tips to identify yeah uh, so <laughs> okay <laughs> the first thing is that you must uh, uh, discuss with the good scholars who are working in that field in that area so that they will suggest you some, you know, suppose if you are uh, want to study about Indo-US relations, you uh, the scholars like Sumit Ganguly you are meeting, or you want to study about Indian politics, you are meeting the scholar like Partha Chatterjee, or mm -hmm. in, in you want to study about a new social movement, you are meeting Kate Nash. So, you know, the scholars who are working in the field, or you want to uh, uh, meet Sudipta Kaviraj or Atul Kokili for studying about uh, the civil society. So, see, the scholarly, the scholars, those who are giving good scholarly works, you, know, you can meet them, you can discuss with them. So, then you can tell about your research area and interest. Definitely, the discussions will lead you to some research. They will tell that, okay, these are because they are, they are uh, very much a good understanding about the research uh, work or uh, research uh, things which were already happening in their particular fields so you will get uh, some hints about the research gap yeah. but that is not the only means you must have good reading you must have a good reading on that particular area these uh, professors or good scholars will lead you to good uh, uh, kind of literature also so uh, you know initially you may not be aware about the good scholars in that particular field so for that you can consult with uh, some of the pro professors who are working on that area, some of the scholars who are working on that area. Or you can take some scholarly works and you can go to that work and you can read that works and finally you can find the research gaps. So these are the available tips uh, for finding out the gaps, nothing more. Uh, it's basically depending upon all these factors together. But the first thing is that definitely you must have a good, uh, good, uh, uh, orientation towards that uh, research work that definitely one scholar can help you in that work. Time to talk with the good scholars who are working in the field 
definitely you must uh, explore them i am still remembering that when i am writing my thesis work maybe it's uh, in the middle of a thesis work when i i i started in writing uh, or, you know uh, my second chapter then i went for a conference at that time one of the scholar we were traveling together at that time i asked this doubt to him and he sent few he few materials to me in email and asked him ask me to read and finally um, it provided me a very good orientation it provided me a good understanding about what are the challenges i am facing and how i can proceed so discussion with the good scholars definitely give you this kind of enlight so this kinds of uh, you know uh, they will transfer that kind of a wisdom and knowledge to you so definitely uh, you must to do that and that is a major tip for to finding out the research work i will tell that it is always not good no, not always not good in the sense that in the initial stage itself you are finding the gap only through by discussion that is not good you must uh, use that as a primary thing with that you must go with uh, some good research work uh, and in which they will tell definitely about the research gaps then you must uh, have a general reading and understanding too these are the things that you can usually make so yes, thank you sir yes sir hello sir i have a hello. question also yes uh, please uh, actually uh, so now raksha madam raksha madam is here so yes. please invite to raksha madam uh, uh, raksha madam uh, will we give your suggestions and also bless uh, for us so please invite to raksha Oh, because uh, before inviting the channel, I have a. Yes, yes, you Hello? can ask. Yes, yes, please, uh, please ask. Whether I am audible? Yes, yes. Hello. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Whether uh, question the session is going on, Vikas? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I uh, congratulate uh, Vikas as a convener to conduct this program of a research problem. Uh, as you all know, because you all are researchers, why uh, research is very important because you all are going through uh, with the same, uh, like you have all have to do the research, and uh, basically research problem is you only have to find out, yes, like in which aspect you are going to write in the examination or uh, like which topic. and uh, what will be the area which you, you will have to decide for uh, doing the research and uh, one more thing the mostly the student who never like uh, they never take care of this thing while doing the literature review they never write in that particular article what is king and what you are going to finally uh, do for uh, like in your research and research problem in research problem also you are going to reflect the same thing which in the review of literature you have lacked it means like if you have taken 10 review of literature there in that review of literature say uh, something is lacking uh, for example like if you are Okay, sir. So there, there is a network issue is yes, in yes. our country because we are living in a remote area, sir. Yes, I know. I know. Work problem, sir. So also is uh, uh, my side and uh, my side. So uh, anyone want want to ask the questions? So you can ask. Yes, I have a question. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes. So when we are a new and emerging problem and i have only few literatures and books and papers then how to frame a research problem what is and how to find the gap so when uh, when we are we are going to select the new and emerging problem okay. uh, and have a very few literatures okay. uh, or books or papers okay. very few papers then yes. sir, how to find the gap Yes, yes, that question is very relevant she is asking that when i am going for a new area so how to find a gap 
so that area should definitely that must be connected to some other areas it may be a new area but definitely there will be connected areas suppose you want to study about the uh, or uh, about a particular um, you know uh, phenomena that is happening at that particular time but there may be some previous works which are related to those aspects suppose you want to study about uh, manipur issue now okay the, the violence you can study about literature related to manipur's history you can study literature available to, you can read literature available to the kind of culture existed the politics existed there so that kind of reading the related reading uh, literature definitely it doesn't mean that uh, always there will be uh, you know works which are related to your area there may be connected areas too so in that area the reading will definitely give you uh, or that will lead you to some tips i'm telling that always uh, you know research gaps you are finding not only through the kind of technical things only even sometimes i told you how to reach to that gap how to reach that problem sometimes intuition sometimes discussions sometimes your understanding sometimes your rationality your logic all these things are matters i'm not telling that only the research gaps reaching to that particular research gap only will uh, happen only through these kinds of scholarly reading and uh, uh, through the research uh, interaction with the scholars only it will we can reach to that point through many ways so in new areas where concerned you are if you feel that it is relevant if you feel that there is sometimes uh, some 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 uh, logical aspects are there if you feel that okay this area is good for Uh, there is no available literature because you are trying and not getting there is no available literature so you don't know what is the exact research gap so you can initiate a research work okay not only you are there not to finding the gap but you you are finding the gap in between the whole knowledge body okay that doesn't mean that in the particular area only you are finding the gap you are finding the gap when you are beginning a new research work among the existing body of knowledge okay so the related literature related reading related aspect discussions intuitions or your imaginations your rational thinking everything your critical you know, look everything will lead you to such a kind of uh, uh, a research problem and definitely that will help you i think that uh, uh, this is the only way in such a kind of uh, 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 topics uh, such, uh, such kind of areas are concerned the emerging areas are concerned we cannot uh, we will not uh, get always the pakka research gaps which are available but sometimes somebody should start so in that way we can say that it it's a kind of exploratory research in which such a kind of finding gaps is not always possible i am understanding that but at least you are having a knowledge that there is no available literature is there this is uh, my uh, challenge so as a research scholar i must face all these aspects so i am trying to contribute to the body of knowledge something new that itself is very much significant okay thank you sir okay so anybody have any questions so you can ask if anybody has questions any any questions you can ask to ranil kumar sir so oh sachi hello yes sir ah uh, ha yes please uh, ha no uh, ganeshila uh, part for both of us okay and uh, respected participants i have already said the mail of uh, our association Uh, please send your feedback. Uh, then we will be sending to you the insert. With the insert. Uh, now I would like to call uh, Ganeshi Lal sir for vote of thanks. So over to you. Ah, uh, Shukriya Sakshi. Ah, uh, सबसे पहले तो मैं uh, सभी पार्टिसिपेंट्स को और सर को धन्यवाद देता हूं कि आज का कार्यक्रम बेसिकली बहुत बेहतर रहा बहुत अच्छा रहा विषय अच्छा था और सर ने जिस तरीके से डिस्क्राइब किया विस्तार से बताया विषय के बारे में विषय को खोला हम लोगों के सामने तो सर के हम सभी शुक्रगुजार हैं 
और विकास जी कोऑर्डिनेटर कार्यक्रम के साक्षी नैना जी और सभी से सहभागी हमारे शोधार्थी साथी जो अंत तक जुड़े रहे उन्होंने सवाल पूछा सार्थक सवाल पूछा और तमाम सारी अपनी जिज्ञासाएं रखी तो बेसिकली आज का कार्यक्रम बहुत अच्छा रहा तो आप सभी के प्रति और विकास जी के प्रति दोहरा धन्यवाद क्योंकि वो टेक्नोलॉजी का भी संयोजन देखते हैं कार्यक्रम के साथ साथ तो आप सभी के प्रति बहुत बहुत आभार बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद शुक्रिया थैंक यू सर सर बी कैन इन द सेशन सर हेलो हां यस सर सो नाउ कैन इन द सेशन सर ओ नो थिंक आई एम आई एम वेरी हैप्पी दैट योर रिसर्च ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज ऑर्गेनाइजिंग दिस प्रोग्राम एंड दिस काइंड्स ऑफ एफर्ट्स फ्रॉम द पार्ट ऑफ रिसर्च स्कॉलर्स आर ऑलवेज अप्रिशिएटिंग एंड आई एम वेरी मच इंटरेस्टेड इन योर वर्क इन फ्यूचर आल्सो इफ यू वांट एनी हेल्प और एनी काइंड ऑफ दिस काइंड्स ऑफ टॉक्स डेफिनेटली आई विल कम because this is an effort from living in the midst of the youngsters are always very much i know it's a kind of give and take effort because i can take knowledge from you i can share my thoughts with you i will get inputs from you too so i have found that some of my friends also joined here like rajbir kau she is from the dev samaj college of chandigarh and i have found many people which are familiar to me so i am congratulating each one of them for participating in the program and patiently hearing me and thank you for the organizers for inviting me thank you thank you very much thank you sir thank you sir dhanyawad aap sabhi thank you sir acha gyan ji bhi jo hai kya hai ji vikas ji